Lola's lift off law. In Finksville's wonkiest part of town, where even the statues seemed to lean in for a gossip, children were in a tizzy. Balloons were being candied out. Not just any old balloon, but magical ones said to lift the person into the air. No wings required. Lola, always the brainy one, with her mismatched socks and freckly nose, eyed the balloon skeptically. She had a plan, a dream really, to float up high, maybe even wave to a passing bird or two. But how many balloons? Timmy, forever the adventurer, with a hat so big he got its own postcode, suggested with a shrug. Why not just grab as many as you can hold? But Lola, ever the thinker, had another idea. Timbo, meet Mr. Pricklepacks, she said, presenting her toy cactus with flair. With a balloon tied to it, the cactus bobbed a wee bit off the ground, but not much. If one balloon lifts Mr. Pricklepacks this much, she started, her face crunched in thought. And considering she weighs as much as free jelly beans, then I'd need. Timmy, eager to help and show off his maths prowess, which was, let's be honest, not quite pro or wet. Counted on his fingers, then his toes, then on the fingers of a really confused pigeon nearby. You'd need, uh, a lot more than free jelly beans worth of balloons. Lola giggled. Let's just say, if every jelly bean weight needs a balloon, and I weigh as much as a big jar of them, she said with a wink, then I need... After a flurry of laughs, wild guesses, and a bit of actual math, they figured out the perfect number. Holding the exact count, Lola began to gently rise, giggling as she waved down at Timmy and the pigeon who was now demanding for extra pay for his math assistants. As Lola danced among the clouds, the lesson was clear. Always use a bit of brainy math, even when it's for a floaty, dreamy plan. And as for Mr. Pricklepants? Well, he just hoped Cacti didn't get airsick. <laughs>